One of the most known theorem under differentiability is called the Rolle's theorem. I hope that some of you are already aware of what this is. But basically, it states that if a function is differentiable and on an open interval from, say, A to B, then there must exist a C in that interval, in that interval where in the slope of its tangent line, which is this, or the function's derivative at C is zero. So meaning, uh, Rolle's theorem is just, uh, it, it, it basically states that if you have a function, no, and differentiable siya from A to B, meaning wala siya discontinuity from that interval, there exists a C, wherein kaning C has a tangent line of 0, which means its derivative is 0. So, to explain this further and to uh, grasp its definition, I will be presenting an example. So, here is an example of a Rolle's theorem. So, let f of x equals to x squared plus 2x. Now, our job is to find all the values of c in the interval from negative 2 to 0 such that the f prime of c is equal to 0. That is, such that the derivative at that point is equal to 0. Or in, or in other words, in that function, at that point, the tangent is 0. Now, first and foremost, we've for everything else, we need to check if uh, this function satisfies the rule or conditions of Rolle's theorem. That is, um, the conditions indicate that if this uh, interval, the function should be continuous. Meaning, in this interval, there should be no discontinuity or there should be no undefined value there. Because... Uh, if that is so, then there is some point in this uh, interval wherein there is no derivative at all. Because if uh, a interval is continuous, that means uh, all of its points here inside has a derivative. So to check if this is a valid function, so let us um, first try to test the function if x is negative 2, that is uh, sa pinakaunang uh, number or point or x value sa itong interval. So, this is negative 2 squared plus 2, negative 2. If we solve this, this is equal to, this is 4 plus negative 2, negative 4 rather, so this is 0. Since 0 is not undefined, that means this is not uh, discontinuous at 2. The function is not continuous at negative 2. Now let's test on negative 1. If it is discontinuous at negative 1, so negative 1 squared plus 2, negative 1, that is 1 plus negative 2, which is negative 1. So since 1 is not undefined, or uh, it is a real value, meaning the function is continuous at negative 1. Now let's check lastly at f equals, as x equals 0. So this is 0 squared plus 2, 0. So basically, this is equals to 0. 0 again is not undefined, so meaning the function is continuous at 0. So this is the, uh, this is the easiest te test that we can do. However, there are some other process in which you can find uh, if there is discontinuity at a certain interval. Okay, so... I, this is already enough as a proof that x squared plus 2x is continuous at negative 2 to 0 interval. 